five stages of grief are. meter time trial we had it done away at track it's been a while since I've run 800 meter so we'll see how it goes if you haven't done so already please consider hitting that subscribe button smashing that like button and give me a follow on social media links will be down in the description below 20 minute warm-up all right fam warm-up is done heading over to the start we've got cameraman John on the scene world's famous cameraman I was gonna keep track of the 800 from a spot. I'm wearing Mama 5s today. Let's see what I can do. Strides now, dressed down. Moustache is all waxed and ready to go. Check it out. Felt heavy from the start. Went through 459. Well, embarrassed some time. 209. Uh, went through that faster. My mile split. Uh, oh well. What can you do? All right, guys. I felt absolutely horrible. The worst I felt in quite some time. Felt nowhere near as good as I did during my workout. I did about a week ago. Legs felt heavy from the start. I think it's just pre-race jitters. I haven't ran 800 that slow in quite some time, actually. But you win some, you lose some. It's a psychological factor I need to work on. I ran about a 209 my watch had. So I went through the quarter in about 59.60, and then I just died a slow and painful death. I had no energy. Bear started jumping on my back really early, like within 300 meters out. So uh, I'm not too happy about today, but this is off of no specific 800 meter training. Um, literally nothing but strides, tempos, some hill repeats. So I'm not happy about it, but what can you do? Even with the poor execution of the mile time trial that I ran about a month ago, I should at least have been capable of a 203, 204. 
Maybe I should have gone out a second or two slower, but today just wasn't my day. I know I say that a lot. It's just, I think it's more of a psychological thing for me than anything else, really. I need to really work on it. No reason to beat myself up. It's only a half mile. This is supposed to be for fun. So, yeah. Fam, currently on my second run. Did an 800 meter time trial this morning. Did not go as well as I wanted it to. So I figured during my second run, we can take the opportunity to talk about what you do when you have a bad race and how you handle it psychologically. It's going to be an easier right now. Gonna head to the field to run barefoot, work on some intrinsic foot muscles and whatnot and take it real easy. I kind of just reflect about what I ran this morning. So, this morning I ran probably the slowest 800 meter time I have ran since high school. I am 30 years old. I am primarily training for the half and full marathon. Right now, nothing really specific, just trying to maintain fitness. You can tell that me using YouTube as a platform, I'm already in the bargaining phase of the phases of grief. So when you have a bad race, you should try to get over it in 24 to 48 hours. There's no reason to mourn on it. Life goes on. You have more opportunities in the future. Get the track. The five stages of grief are denial, anger, depression, bargaining, acceptance. The things that happen to your mind naturally when you have a bad race are all those stages. And the quicker you can get through the stages, the better off you'll be. Get a nice field now. Do some barefoot running. The mind can be very fragile. It's something you should focus on training, not just your body when it comes to distance running and performance. You want your mind to be so sharp that you cut your head off. That's one of Little Wayne's quotes from one of his songs. I don't remember what it was. Six foot, seven foot? No. Um, anyways, that's beside the point. If you're in a state of stress or being afraid to try things that you're not used to. For me, this morning, I'm used to half marathons, not half miles. So for me, it was uncharted territory. Because I haven't run an 800 in like 10 years. So, as a defensive mechanism for my body, usually when I go into races unprepared mentally, I would say I'm definitely somewhat prepared physically. My brain is like, what the hell are you doing? And my body just locks up, tightens up, and you go into a flight or fight response. I would say I went more into a fight than a flight because my muscles tend to really increase, legs just felt heavy instantly. I could not execute properly without fear of letting myself down, letting others down. But you can't let others decide how you perform. So running is a very individual sport. There's a team aspect to it. But you have to learn to give it your all without worrying about others. Unless of course, you know, it's a championship meet and whatnot. Back to talking about the phases of grief. When you have a bad race, you didn't run the time you expected or you went in feeling flat for whatever reason, take the time to reflect 24 to 48 hours. Find someone to talk to that you know understands your situation. It's pretty common. Everyone has a bad race every now and then, us runners. So it's pretty common to have someone to talk to about this, especially the older, more experienced runners. Now I'm not gonna lie, it is something that will hang on to you for a little bit because I still remember my high school uh, my high school state championship when I ran the mile I ran my butt off to get to state I remember I ran so hard because only top four got to state and the last 200 meters I was boxed in actually no, the last quarter I was boxed in with five people just fighting for each that spot the last 200 meters was the hardest 200 meters I ran in my life but I got that fourth spot and I led me to state but then when I got to state I choked I ran 10 seconds slower than what I ran at region, and I cried. People get better. And like I said, it's just one bad race and you have many more opportunities. So don't dwell on the past. We're constantly living in the present. So stay there. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell for when I post my next video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.